scattered power outages into our newsroom. Of course, no electricity means no heat. But for some with power, it's their furnace that picked, of course, the worst night of the year to go out. Chauncey Glover, live with that story. Chauncey? Good evening to you, Devin. Let me show you how cold it is out here. I just got a cup of boiling water here in this cup poured by the guys here at the gas station. Take a look. Throw it up in the air. It just immediately vaporizes. Take a look. That's how cold it is out here. And here on the coldest day of the year, you certainly don't want to get caught with your furnace not working. His name is Tim Turner. But tonight, folks are calling him Superman. Hello, Mr. Harris. How you doing? Good. The serviceman from Flame Heating has been rescuing people all night. Uh, well, as cold as it is uh, right now, uh, the furnaces are running way, you know, they don't really get a break, so they're just running nonstop. People like David Hart. Yeah, it is cold out, man, and uh, I'm glad they were able to get out and get down the street and get over here. His furnace just stopped working. Actually, I was just uh, cleaning up and um, started just smelling something burning. But Turner knew exactly what the problem was. The, uh, the windings on the motor failed. With freezing temps set to drop even lower, without a doubt, you'll be cranking the heat nonstop. So if you didn't get the off-season inspection and you're worried about your furnace, experts say it's not too late to get it checked out. You know, knowing that you've got clean filters and, you know, the gas pressures are right and that it's burning clean and it's safe. Um, that's that's key. 45 minutes later and a new motor, Mr. Hart is back in the warmth where he plans to stay. But for some, a last minute dash to the grocery store saved the day. But keeping warm in this blistering cold, you can't call a repairman. You just have to use 